Hello friends, you are watching Science Cards and today we are going to present our third tutorial video on basic science and basic component phenomena video session. Well, today our topic is a cell phone charger or a mobile charger. Well, you are watching this is a black color mobile charger which is being placed there with some uh, connecting wires with it. Now, I am going to open this black cell phone charger as you are watching and I am trying to open it right now and this is now I have opened it as soon as I open it the internal part comes out and you are watching this is a black cover it was covered covering the circuitry and the rest is the circuit. This is the circuit made on printed circuit board you are watching it. This is the circuitry which was inside that mobile charger what we have opened and this is the outer portion. Through these two pins the mobile charger is being inserted into the switchboard and through which the charger take charging process takes place. These two wires, these two blue wires were being soldered with that two points inside this okay now we are going to show the circuitry the input of 230 volt AC comes through these two blue wires in this whole circuitry then it passes through these four diodes it this one this one this one and this one they make bridge rectifier then a resistance is there through this capacitor it passes through this resistance through two transistors and then again some resistance this is a diode this is another a capacitor a diode again two ceramic capacitors two resistance a diode this is a pulse transformer also called a power pulse transformer and here is an LED one more capacitor a resistor and one diode so you can see that there are one two three four five and here one six one and four zero zero seven diodes in which four are used as bridge rectifiers this is the capacitor this is the capacitor and this is also the capacitor these three capacitors are called three electrolytic capacitors and these two capacitors are called micro capacitors or ceramic capacitors being said these red things very small tiny orangey or red things this is a uh, this one and this one are Jenner diodes. Well, these are the components what we have said. Now we are going to show you the basic principle of that cell phone charger circuit or mobile charger circuit. This is the circuitry. This we have drawn like some blocks are working, like input comes in then rectifier is there rectification takes place then high frequency after rectification the signal is being converted into some high frequency signal then the step down of voltage takes place finally some inversion process the signal in begin button and finally we get the output let's come to the circuitry part and exactly see what happens through these two blue wires the input signals or you can say input current or input voltage of 230 volt AC voltage comes in. These four diodes form a bridge rectifier. This is the bridge rectifier. These are the four diodes what we have already drawn here. Through this bridge rectifier the AC signal is being converted into an DC signal and after that this DC signal there is some repels so 
to get a repel free DC signal at 2.2 microfarad and 450 volt capacitor DC here this is being placed that DC is being passed to this capacitor to get rid of that repel or AC components after it passed to that capacitor of 2.2 microfarad the signal comes to these two transistors we have two transistors here this one and this one to these two transistors on off on off on off on off like that that same on off on off process the frequency of the signal enhanced and the and through the giving passing through these transistors the DC signal is being converted into a high frequency AC signal and then again pass through that capacitor this to current capacitor which has some uh, power factor correction circuit we can say that or we can also say that as a filters to that transformer to the pulse transformers this is a 220 by 5 or 6 volt pulse transformer in which as soon as the input voltage changes the output voltage changes with the change in ratio to maintain it and this is the input this is the output it is a very miniature circuit very miniature transformer so the first question comes in mind that some AC input is given to the circuitry that's AT input is again given to the transformer so what was the need of usages of such bridge rectifiers such transistors such big big capacitors resistors ceramic capacitors and all these electronic components here very simple answer is there what is that this is a switching mode power supply or we can say SMPS we know that capacitance is proportional to 1 by frequency as capacitance is proportional to 1 by frequency as soon as we increase the frequency of any circuitry the value of capacitor reduces soon and vice versa as soon as the frequency increases of any circuitry the size of transformer can be reduced by reduction of that frequency of that circuitry so as soon as we increase the frequency of that circuitry we can reduce the size of the transformers so if we need to use that type of miniature transformer which is also being called power transformer we have to increase the frequency at some certain value which only being done through passing firstly through bridge rectifiers and then using two transistors in the path in some circuits MOSFETs are used some other power electronic components can all be used but the basic thing is that if we need to take care about the basic principle of a mobile charger circuit we have to know about the power supply unit or the PSU concept fully well what is a power supply unit power supply unit is a device which can convert electrical energy to a state to some state in which some parameters of the electrical energy can be changed as per our requirements so what is being changed in, in this case through this power supply unit that 50 Hz AC supply which was given as the input through these two blue wires here when we are giving the same input to the transformer the frequency is being changed and that 50 Hz frequency is being enhanced to a very higher value why we have already said it and in power supply unit we can divide it into linear and switching these two divisions well this is a switching mode power supply or we can say that a switching power supply unit well one more point is power factor correction what is that this power factor correction is very important in this charger as soon as 230 volt DC supply comes in through rectif circuit it converts into DC after that some when these two transistors through these two transistors when it be converted into some AC voltage or current some power factor correction case 
takes less through some capacitors. After the transistor, there are some capacitors we are watching it. Some power factor correction case takes place. So if the power factor correction case is being taken place, the efficiency of the circuitry will be maximum. Well, what we have said before, this is a transformer. This transformer is called a pulse transformer. Pulse transformer can be divided into two different divisions a signal transformer and a power transformer and this is a power pulse transformer so friends how was our today's tutorial video if you have learned something from it and really enjoyed it then you can easily uh, like it in our youtube channel not only that you can subscribe to our channel to get more uh, clarified tutorial session videos if you have any questions anything you can comment it in our comment box we will definitely reply to you thanks for watching